In this video, you'll learn how to include vector data for the map control. I already have a project open with a DX ribbon window and map control on it. I've already connected it to the Bing Map service to display a geographical map. The vector layer allows adding vector items to the map. Let's add vector items loaded from an XML file. Open the Layers Collection Editor and add the vector layer object to the collection. Set the layer's data property to List Source Data Adapter. Bind the data source property to the XML data source named Data Provider that's stored in the window sources. Set the data member property to Ship. Let's specify the adapter's mappings and set the latitude mapping to latitude and the longitude mapping to longitude. Now configure the settings of generated items. Let's set the item settings property to map custom element settings. Next, bind the content template property to the data template named ship template stored in resources. Now let's bind the visibility of the layer to the XML file button's checked state. and close the editor. You can see that items are loaded in the designer. Let's run the app. There are several custom map elements loaded from the XML file. Another approach is using the vector layer to display items loaded from a vector format data source. To demonstrate this, I'll load shape file data to the map control. Open the layers collection editor and add another vector layer object to the collection. Let's assign the shape file data adapter to the layer's data property and specify its URI. I'll use the country shape file shipped with the DevExpress controls demo. Let's colorize shapes loaded from the shape file. To do this, specify the colorizer property of the layer and set it to graph colorizer. Now, bind the visibility of the layer to the shape file button's checked state. And let's run the application again. I've added buttons on the ribbon to switch through visible layers. Let's show vector items loaded from the shapefile and hide vector items loaded from XML. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.